When you look at your screens, you're sure there's some ways to fix them. And we're gonna show you a little bit about that. Just watch the video. Hi, welcome back to Vertech TV. We have Eric here with us to show us some SCADA screen designs. Welcome Eric to Thank Vertech you. TV. Yeah, it's good to be here. <laughs> We're excited to have you. So tell me, what is your biggest pet peeve or issue with SCADA screen designs? That's a great question. Um, I would say that a lot of people will rush too much. They don't focus on all the details and that makes it um, kind of look sloppy, you know, and, they, and it prevents people from really understanding and loving their system. Okay, awesome. So let's have you talk about some of the good ones and then talk about some of the bad things about skater screen designs. Sounds good. So let's first look at what a bad example is. And now the reason why this is bad is more than just that it's so bad. The reason why is that it doesn't bring us any closer to the goal. And that goal is to be able to make important decisions, take in information and use that information to make those decisions. So what we see here is there's too much distractions, there's things that don't line up, there's things that don't really make sense, and there's things that are not useful. For example, the background, there's an image, there's an image in the button. These things don't really add to it, they only distract you from the goal, which is to do some action and to take information back in. The contrasting colors draw us away from, the again, the goal. The additional, the overly complicated three-dimensional three dimensional equipment doesn't let us see the equipment as clearly as we could if it was more simple. The, you know, the buttons, the framing, the inconsistencies, they all distract us at the same time as they produce negative effects on our overall goal. Now, if we take a look at a different example, we've got a more common navigation system, so we know exactly what we, sh we would expect to be here. Within each of these drop downs, there's a set of information that relates to that drop down. We've got specific items showing up on the screen as, as indicators of uh, conditional factors. So this one is some kind of error. This one would be some kind of warning. This one would be some kind of warning. And those colors all contribute to us understanding more easily what we're trying to be shown here. Um, additionally, we've got spacing starting to include padding. We've got alignment, we've got a hierarchy of information, we've got a consistent color palette, and overall the thing looks nicer. You want to keep the images to a minimum. So here we've got icons that are filled rather than images. But there are gradients in this color here you can see for stylistic effect. So it's still pleasing to use. We've also included, started including icons, and those icons will let us see um, conceptual things rather than actual things. So here we've taken a lot of those things we just talked about and we've kind of implemented them. We have a consistent navigation system scheme over on the left, uh, but this one is slightly different. We don't need to see as much information all the time, so that's hidden behind some icons. Those icons kind of relate to the conceptual section that we need to understand. And doing that will improve your operator's ability to immediately go to certain sections on the screen rather than moving them up and down in nested type navigation. We've also got things on the screen organized uh, in a great way where we can see sections of things related to each other in a hierarchy. So we've got corn and all the things relating to it. We've also know that this is separate and it's some kind of button system and these buttons maybe lead to these items on the screen. So if things you can take away is that you want to um, compose things in a way where you wouldn't have to look at everything if you didn't want to. And if you did want to look at something, you'd be able to find it instantly or very, very quickly based on your experience with the system. Furthermore, you'd want feedback like these little indicators here that will show you if you've completed the, ta the task or you need to additionally select it. We've also got things like highlight selection and enabled on buttons to show people that they've got additional actions to take before they can complete or if they're not quite allowed to yet. Take things in a hierarchy, have a simple navigation that people understand, bring things forward that you want to see and send things back that you don't necessarily need to see as much, provide feedback on your screens where the operator can take certain actions and provide consistent imagery, um, iconography rather than images because they load faster and they're easier to, to push away from your, your mind. 
so you can make those critical decisions faster. Thanks for joining us on Vertec TV. We have one question for you today. And that is, what was your favorite screen? Was it number one, two, or three? You can leave your choice in the comments below. And if you want to know more about Vertec or improving your designs more, visit us at Vertec.com. See you there.